Hey guys, Gary here from Gary Davis Aromatherapy and in this video I want to show you how to make a quick and easy laundry detergent. For those of you who like dry powder detergents, this is going to be um, an alternative to our liquid detergent that we made in a previous video. So this is going to save you a ton of money over using those expensive store-bought detergents. And so let me go over the ingredients here. We're going to use Castile soap. We're going to use Epsom salts, baking soda, super washing soda, and we're going to throw some OxyClean in there too to help take those stains out and, and keep your whites whiter. So let's get started here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a grater, and this is where the work comes in. We're going to grate up two cups of Castile soap. This is natural Castile soap. I bought this online. So this is Castile soap is a soap made from um, vegetable fats instead of animal fats. So it's a natural soap. It's totally biodegradable and it's great for the environment. So we're just going to use this grater and we're going to grate down a couple of cups of this. So this is going to take a bit so I'm going to pause the video and Go ahead and grate this, and then we'll mix it all together. Okay, so I've grated up one bar of Castile soap, and that made up the two cups that we're going to need to make this recipe. So for the rest of it, I'm going to use the, a food processor to blend this together. So we're just going to put in the two cups of Castile soap. Then we're going to put in, got to get my measuring cup. Then we're going to put in two cups of baking soda. I'm making a little bit of a mess there. That's okay. And now that I've got those ingredients in here, I want to just hit it once or twice. Mix it up. Now we're going to put in a cup and a half of super washing soda. I'm going to put in three tablespoons of Epsom salts. And then our last ingredient we're going to put in is we're going to put in one cup of OxyClean. Now we're going to put the top back on this and mix it one more time real good.
And now we're done. We've got a nice detergent here. Now when you use this in a high efficiency machine like I have, what you want to do is just take two tablespoons of this and just put it in the drum, mix it in before you put your clothes in. If you're using a traditional top load washer, just use a cup of this mixture and it'll get your clothes nice and clean and then you can mix that and use our um, the fabric softener that we made, the all natural fabric softener that we made in a previous video and put that in. Your clothes will come out clean and soft and be ready to go in the dryer. Now what uh, some people like to do, once it comes out of the dryer, um, they'll get essential oils like lavender, something that smells good, mix it in with a little bit of witch hazel and water and use a spritzer bottle and they'll, they'll hang their clothes up and then spritz them if they like the, the scent. So you can do that as well. I just put this in mason jars and just put it right beside the washing machine. And then I can just go in and scoop out a couple of tablespoons when I need to wash clothes. Okay, so I've got my dry powder laundry detergent put in my mason jar. Now I'll label this because I don't want to get it mixed in and have something terrible happen. So I'll just use a Sharpie and write detergent on it. I'll leave it there by the washing machine. That The recipe that we just used makes just a little bit over a mason jar full. So this will last for a long time and it's pennies on the dollar what I'd pay if I were buying um, detergent at the, uh, at the grocery store. So try some of this, make it up, use it on your clothes. Let us know what you think in the comments section. Uh, please be sure to like our Facebook page and our YouTube channel so we can keep bringing the, you these videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.